you did run well, but who, what, when was you hindered? See, a lot of times we want to point fingers at other people and blame them for our failures, our mistakes. And the thing is, is that we have to give permission to people, to things, time, for those things to come in and hinder us, deny us, delay us, and even stop us from going forward into what God has destined. See, we are in that moment right now, and I believe it's a, a strategic moment to where that God is wanting to pour out His Spirit. He wants to make His self manifest, it would be the right way to say it, greater publicly than He's ever manifested. As I travel through this road here on this parkway heading over into the eastern part of Kentucky going to our second campus and tonight will be service my mind is rolling and I'm thinking on how many people are sitting in houses mobile homes apartments and even in areas over in the eastern part of Kentucky don't even have a home but sleeping in a vehicle that once was a mighty man of God that once had a vision once had a purpose whether you're male or female no matter how young you are yeah we've all made mistakes we've all messed up who what when where was you hindered? Well, it's not really based upon that. But here's what I want to throw at you. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit there and continue to live in what happened? Who it was with? Who said what? What time it took place? Or will you make up your mind today as I'm challenging you? I'm daring you. It used to be when I was younger, I know they don't do it now in this generation, but when I was younger and I'm not that old, is that is that we used to call what we say double dog dare you, which means if you said that, you, you better do it. And, uh, and I am daring you right now to get up and make a difference and realize you can go forward and it's not over yet because until you kick your feet up and draw your last breath it's not over you still have a purpose you still have a destiny you still have time and that's the greatest thing that they are is time oh yeah and it's, and it's a now time so there's never been a time like right now so rise up this is pastor scott kilborn